your girl tarot card bay i'm here to do your reading for the person who is spying on you we're going to look into the person who's watching you this person doesn't have to watch you in the physical world they could be watching you energetically they could be watching you online but we're going to look into the person who is watching you what they want uh their most likely steps coming towards you so let's jump in this reading is meant to be a little bit shorter um, I am trying to put more Virgo readings back on my channel. So if you like this reading, hit the thumbs up. Talk to me nice in the comments. Let me know that you like the Virgo content and it will continue to be posted. So let's jump in. The person who is watching you could be a Cancer. Cancer's Pisces Scorpio. I got heavy Cancer. This person is in love with you. This is the energy of someone who's in love with you. This is unconditional love. This is a person who's very much in touch with their emotional side. I get the energy of this person sits back with the knowledge that they love you. They might watch you, you know, watch your social media. They could watch you in transit when you're in your community. But no matter how they watch you or when they watch you, the reality is this person is in love with you. This is not something that can be denied. I even get that for some of you Virgos, you know that this person exists and you know that this person is in love with you. Why does this person watch my Virgos? This person who is in love with my Virgos, why are they watching? Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. This person loves to see you shine. This person loves to see you glow glow and grow this person loves to see like the abundance that you've created for yourself the life you created for yourself i'm getting really heavily grow so this might be someone you've known for a long time this person could have known you when you were younger this person likes to see you like in your virgo energy in your glory in your power this is not someone who wants to make you feel bad. This is not somebody who make, wants to make you feel insecure, take your power away and all of this foolishness. This person loves your strength. This person loves to see you grow. This person loves to see the life that you've created for yourself. This person is very much aware of your relationship status. That's another reason why they watch you. They know that for the majority of you Virgos, you are single and they watch they almost watch you be comfortable in your singledom. They don't get an energy that you're ha unhappy with being single. They get an energy that you're very content and happy with your life. And they like to watch you because of that. What else? We got the six of pentacles, the ace of swords, the four of cups. This is the energy of like, I didn't act when I had the opportunity. This person feels like they rejected you or they didn't move on the opportunity. They didn't give when they had the opportunity. That was the message that I got. Like I did not act when I had the opportunity. So this person could be experiencing some guilt and some regret for not moving towards you when they had the opportunity. Why didn't this person act and move towards my Virgos? Why didn't this person act and move towards my Virgos? We got the Emperor card and we got the... <laughs> I don't even know what card this is. I'm, I'm losing it, y'all. The Nine of Wands. <laughs> So it's a mixture of few things. I get that you could be dealing with the Aries. Something could have happened work wise that created a distance. When I got the Emperor card, my brain said work, something like work, something practical, something happened in this person's job, career that has created some type of stagnancy or became an obstacle is why they couldn't come towards you. They also are guarded. So this person could also use work like as an excuse to not move towards you. Uh, but something work related stopped them from moving towards you or stopped them from taking this opportunity. That was such a great opportunity that they regret taking work was one of these things. Control is here, too, with the emperor. 
This is not somebody who falls in love and can control themselves. Most people can't. Love can be kind of chaotic. I get that this person does not like that chaotic energy. They do not like feeling like they're out of control. Do they not like feeling like someone could hurt them emotionally? But I get heavily out of control due to their emotions. So this is someone who could quite possibly go towards people they're not very passionate about because they can handle those situations. Like they could be with someone who bored the hell out of them, but it doesn't cause like a uproar in their life. It doesn't create chaos in their life. They don't feel afraid to lose a person. So they feel more comfortable and more confident with someone that they're not in love with compared to someone who can hurt them and can make them feel unbalanced. Like this is a person has problems expressing their emotions. All right, look at that. Three of swords and the four of wands. This is also a person that could have been married before and it did not work out. So now they have some type of commitment issues or fear of deep intimacy and deep love. All right, let's see. What does this person want? Knight of Cups. They want to bring a love offer in. They want to bring emotion into you. This could be someone who never really brought emotion, like all this love that they feel, this in love feeling. It's possible that they never even brought this forward. They want to bring it to you now, but I don't like seeing the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. Five of Cups, more Scorpio energy, and the Hermit card. That's you, boo boo. The Hermit is you. This person's sad. Seven of Swords. It's almost like they want to rush in, but they, they know that you don't want to deal with them or you don't trust them. Seven of Cups and the Two of Cups. I get you're this person's favorite cup. I just finished Gemini's reading and that was definitely like a person who like like to be possessive, like to have multiple cups and most, multiple lovers. But like you are this person's favorite cup. You are this person's best cup. You are like you check all of the boxes for this person. And they're almost heartbroken that you see them as somebody who could hurt them or someone that could hurt you or someone who could use you or someone who doesn't see you in high regard. Like they love you so much that that actually hurts them, that you see them in this way. I don't really see that they've hurt you with another lover. I feel that they hurt you by not making a decision with the two of swords in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. This person would not make a decision and you walked away, but yeah. Them not making a decision could have hurt you. And again, I don't see that they like traded you in for another lover, picked another lover over you. This person just had inaction and that inaction is what made you feel like you couldn't trust them. Let's see what this person's most likely next steps are. Strength card could be dealing with the Sagittarius, two of wands in reverse. Page of Pentacles in reverse and the High Priestess could be dealing with the Pisces and the Queen of Swords. This person will come in when they don't feel like you're going to chop their head off or block them. They need to build up that strength because they're afraid that you're going to block them. You're going to have sharp words towards them. You're going to be defensive towards them. They're afraid of that. So they're leaning into their intuition, waiting for like the right time. That's another reason why they're watching you. They're trying to do like an energetic check to figure out when the right time to come forward would be for, for you. That's the most likely outcome. I got the world card. And six of wands in reverse. Yikes. And the death card in reverse. And the chariot. I do see that you're going to keep it moving for some of you. Some of you will decide to keep it moving. Some of you, this person ran out of time and you don't have the same type of emotions that maybe you did in the beginning. Um, 
This person gave you much, too much time to like live without them. I can't speak. I'm sorry. I've been working all day and I still wanted to come do a reading. They gave you too much time to live without them. They gave you too much time to like have a normal flow of energy and life without them. And now you don't want to take the risk for some of you. Some of you will, but I see that a lot of you will not take the risk to be with them. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you. Uh, if you like the reading, hit the thumbs up. Talk to me nicely in the comments. More content is coming. I love you so much.